plenty of people they don't ask me say Fabiano, what wait till they happen? We know the year you talk about wait till they happen for for Israel and the other places then because we we'll see how we uh, Hamas go attack Israel and wait till they happen Israel then too they react. I be tell na say action equal reaction. It they like say uh, uh, Israel don't take hammer key fly day. Now the whole world they talk say this so Israel they commit war crimes and uh, uh, crime against humanity and all those kind of things. Then. But I want to say me watch this video. Watch this video. This particular one so I want play until the end. You go see something. I don't watch and watch and suit. I don't watch and more than four times. I say no man can share on with you now. When you watch this video now, if you get a comment, eh, drop them for comment section. If, if the video find you, you like them. Eh? If, if you, you, you want to miss other person listening and all, or me watch and all, share them for them. Share them for all Ambazonia and them. What people in the ground zero and all other side them. Yes, just watch them. Watch this video carefully. See when Pastor Chris talk. You know, I know be fan for Pastor them and all those kind of uh, people them. You know, me, I believe me. I believe, yes, I believe in God. Of course, there is God. But I know of the so dwell on all those things. Them as I know you talk on my platform, but it doesn't mean I don't believe in God. But what this man said, what this man of God said, Pastor Chris, no, I think say it be very important. My share with you now. Watch this video. Watch them. Don't forget. If you if, if you want them, you share them. This other person, he watch them. Yes. No forget Ambazonia and for Ground Zero and all over. Watch them. Question: Where was Israel? Where were they looking? When they were suddenly, when there were such massive incursions into their country by Hamas, what were they thinking? I thought Israel had some of the best intelligence in the world. I think many are surprised. Like, how, how could Israel have been taken by surprise? question is not whether uh, uh, it's not how could Israel be taken by surprise maybe it's a legitimate question of course but um, it should be more about who was taken by surprise and who was not taken by surprise who were those who knew that this was coming how timely it was to somehow follow the six billion dollars return to Iran that had been held back for years. So, and then Iran is behind the founding of Hamas. Hezbollah, and maybe a few others, like the Islamic Jihad. So question, who was taken by surprise and who was not taken by surprise? Because some were not taken by surprise. It's about who are these who are more loyal to their courts than they are to their country. And where is this game? It's all about the one world government. Um, I think it was in 2021 or so, I was explaining on this program I explained the involvement of the Freemasons in the one world government pursuit. Now, when I talk about the Freemasons, I'm not talking about the junior Freemasons that, you know, some of you who are not serious Christians might have been a part of and then you think you're into something. You haven't even started. So 
just be calm and listen to me and don't start getting un uncomfortable. He's talking about Freemason. I love Freemason. Relax yourself. Albert Pike, the, the grand commander and sovereign pontiff of the universal Freemasonry, made the statement I'm going to read to you in a moment. In his vision and plan for the Third World War, And I explained this to you before. I explained on this program before. This was the, 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 the sovereign pontiff, the grand commander of Freemason, the universal Freemasons. So let me read to you so you understand what, what you're seeing because they're following the Grand Commander's plan. He said the Third World War must be fomented by taking advantage of the differences caused by the Argentor. The Argentor of the Illuminati. What do you mean Argentor? It, it means the agency of the Illuminati. You see it? So they're going to use the help of the Illuminati to foment this trouble. How? The Illuminati will take advantage of the differences between the political Zionists and the leaders of the Islamic world. Now, the term political Zionists is another broad term because political Zionists doesn't just mean the Jews. It means all those who support Israel. And that, that drags Christians right into it. They are referred to globally among political Zionists. Is there anywhere they sing songs of Zion more than among Christians? But I, 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 I'll read more. You would notice in a second. So don't, it's not just, um, these are not just uh, off the cuff statements. No, listen. So he says, the agency of the Illuminati will take advantage of the differences between what? The political Zionists and the Islamic world. I read further. The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. So, who is instigating the war? Look at it. The Illuminati will instigate the war by taking advantage of the differences between political Zionism and the Islamic world leaders. So, I, this is a war on different fronts. And I told you about the words, the term used by George Bush Sr. when he called it the thousand points of lights. That's a statement from the Illuminati. And they tell you, they're coming at you from different positions like how Saddam Hussein was lured into Kuwait and I read you those details as well so it wasn't Saddam Hussein who just woke up one day and wanted to move into Kuwait no an official was sent to Saddam Hussein To advise him that it would be a good idea to move into Kuwait and that America will not do anything about it, he shouldn't be worried. Then he moved into Kuwait, and the next thing he knew, Gulf War.
But these are not secret things. The, I, I gave you the name of the, the, the lady who went there. April Glasby. So, he was lured into Kuwait. So, who sent her? The members of the Illuminati. So hear what Pike says, Albert Pike. He says, meanwhile, other nations once more divided on this issue. Okay, on what issue? The, the, the problem between, between the uh, political Zionists and Islam. Now, think about it. When the Ukrainian war with Russia at, at, at least dominated the news, and Israel was kind of making some headway with friendships with some of the Arab nations, everybody wondered what where was the enmity between uh, Israel and the Palestinians. It seemed like it had gone to the, you know, it was nobody was thinking about it. It was like off the off the table. It wasn't off the table for the Illuminati. At the right time, they were advised that this was the moment to strike. So you strike, and what happens? What happens? Israel returns fire for fire in a very devastating way. Now, Israel will be accused of killing a fly with a sledgehammer. That's what's going to happen. All those who are supporting Israel right now, they're going to turn against Israel. Those nations that are saying, yeah, 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 that's, yeah. They're going to turn against Israel soon. And they're going to say, it's too much. So while Israel is fighting this, already uh, Hezbollah and the, to the northern part of Israel, from their southern Lebanon territories, started trying some things. They attacked some of the military positions of Israel, and Israel responded. But war has not been declared. So very likely, Israel fights this one, and now they have moved their soldiers also to the northern border. So they're going to be fighting on two fronts very soon. But it's going to be more than that, because Iran is funding Hezbollah, and funding Hamas, and they're not hiding it, and they're saying so. So, Israel will have to take actions against Iran. So, very likely, the plan from these people who are behind this is to instigate Israel to attack Iran. So, they're going to be fighting Hamas. and fighting Hezbollah, and fighting Iran. And since they're fighting for their lives, they're going to be very devastating. And because they're fighting that, then Islamic Jihad from Pakistan joins. And that drugs as envisioned, as envisioned by the planners of this. That drags the Arab world into it all. So they declare intifada. Intifada means um, to shake off, literally which really is um, a term to refer to uprising. So it's a kind of rebellion. 
So what you're seeing is, I told you about the polarization of nations. And I told you about this phase of polarization and what we, what we were about to see and when it began. And I told you it was going to go on. So you're going to have those that are pro-China. You have those that are pro-Europe. And of course, China will be friends with Russia. And then, I wonder where your country, which one will your country join? You see, so they're going to be so polarized. This is what they plan to do. This is what they plan to do. Listen again to Albert Pike's plan here. It says, meanwhile, the other nations, once more divided on this issue, will be constrained to fight to the point of complete physical, moral, spiritual, and economical exhaustion. See, they want to get the world exhausted, frustrated. He says, we shall unleash the nihilists and the atheists. Think about it. They will unleash, uh, unleash the nihilists and the atheists. So they know. See, the Freemasons understand. Because uh, when people get into the Freemasons, they tell them that it's not a religion. But it is a religion. Abba Pike said it's a religion. Abba Pike, the Grand Commander, Sovereign Pontiff, stated very clearly that it is a religion. And not only that it is a religion, he stated several times that Lucifer is God. So if you don't know, if you don't know and you are in the Freemason, I want you to understand that the real, the real doctrine of Freemasonry is that Lucifer, Satan, is God. That's their doctrine. So if you don't understand, if you are a Freemason, you are a worshiper of Satan. You are a Satanist. So if you, have not, if you are not yet aware, you are not high enough yet. Because Albert Pike said this should be told only to those of the 31st and 32nd degrees. So if you are not yet that high, you are not going to know. Listen to what he says. He says, we shall unleash, unleash the nihilists and the atheists, and we shall provoke a formidable social cataclysm, which in all its horror will show clearly to the nations the effect of absolute atheism. What is he saying? You see, they hate atheism. Why? Because, because they believe that Lucifer, Satan, is God. So they're saying there is a God. So they despise the atheists. So they're going to use them. So in the beginning, the atheists would think that they are on the same page. The nihilists would think they are on the same page. Even the Illuminati would think they are on the same page because they are only using them. You see it? 